And welcome back, everyone, for week six of the 2019 NFL season. Week six already, wow, we're starting to see some patterns developing. Certain things that usually happen aren't happening. That's why I went only two and two. We're going to go four and oh this week. We'll start you off with Billy's College Picks. All right, what's up, everybody? Billy B. back with you for week number six. College picks went 3-1 last week. Still looking for that 4-0 week. I feel pretty good about it coming this week. So let's get to the picks. We like Washington State plus 3, Notre Dame minus 11, Arkansas plus 6.5, and, and Boise State minus 12.5. So there's the college picks. Gio going to give you them NFL picks right now. The first game we're going to look at has the Carolina Panthers going to Tampa Bay, where the Buccaneers are two and a half point dogs at home. Now, normally I don't like to bet these kind of games where the the visitor team is a um, favorite in a division contest, but this year every one of these things that I bet the opposite has happened. So I'm going to reverse what I normally do. I like Carolina what they're doing right now. I think they're one of the hottest teams in the NFL at the moment. The uh, the kid has come in at quarterback and he's been playing great. Um, Christian McCaffrey has been running all over the place. The defense has responded really well. Tampa Bay's kind of up and down. Uh, I, I think Carolina has got just too much for them. And this is a, a, a nice price. It's under a field goal. So you know what? Let's lay the points and let's take the Carolina Panthers minus two and a half. The second game we're going to look at has the Philadelphia Eagles going to Minnesota where my Vikings are three point favorites at home. Well, you know, nobody knows Minnesota Vikings on YouTube uh, as well as I do. I mean, I've been following this team for 45 years. Now that Kirk Cousins uh, is into his second season, nothing has changed from last year. He simply beats bad teams and he loses to good teams. And Philadelphia is actually a, a very good team. And um, now that Minnesota has switched to the mostly uh, running attack, it's, it doesn't help them as well because Philadelphia, at least right now, are ranked number one against the run. I think the Eagles are actually going to win this game, unfortunately. Um, and you get the points. You know, Kirk Cousins, he's just a bum. He's a bum. He doesn't beat any good teams. And uh, I don't think he'll win this game, let alone cover. So let's take the points and let's take the Philadelphia Eagles plus three over my, my Vikings. Another thing we want to look at is the total in that game. I mentioned that the, uh, uh, the Vikings run the ball, but uh, Philadelphia stops the run. Minnesota's defense is also very good. The total in this game is 44. Let's take our first over-under of the year. Let's take under the 44. Okay, for our third game, we have the Seattle Seahawks going to Cleveland, where the Brownies are now two-point uh, dogs at home. I think that opened up with the Browns as two-and-a-half-point favorites at home. Now it's, it's swung the other way. Um, I'm hearing rumors that OBJ might be traded from Cleveland already. I don't know if that's true. I, I just don't think they're gelling yet. Uh, Seattle is playing a lot better. Uh, this is a uh, this is a team that usually takes care of these these games like this uh, against a, a, a foe that's not that good. The price is right; it's under a field goal. Let's lay the points and let's take the Seattle Seahawks minus two. And the fourth game we're going to look at has the San Francisco 49ers going to uh, Los Angeles to take on the Rams, who are three point favorites in this game. Um, San Francisco, they're four and zero, and they're four and zero for a reason. They're they're playing well on defense, playing well on offense. It's a short week for them, but the the Rams are struggling right now. They've lost two straight. They really need this game, but this is for the control of the NFC West. I think San Francisco can actually win this game, and you get the points. So let's take the San Francisco 49ers plus three. All right, and for the NFL picks, last week went two and two. It's been a rough year, but we're going to keep grinding. First pick is the Falcons minus two and a half versus Arizona. If not now, then when for the uh, Atlanta Falcons? They just have way too much talent to just keep losing games like this. I believe if they do lose this game, Dan Quinn could probably be fired. Um, but I do feel that the Falcons will be able to click on offense, and they're going to outscore Arizona in this one. 
that the Falcons score over 30 points in this one. So take the Atlanta Falcons minus two and a half. The next pick, I like Cleveland Browns plus two against Seattle. I know that sounds pretty crazy, um, but I think the Browns do come back um, after the big loss last week. Uh, everybody's down on them. I think they have a big bounce back game. Seattle got to travel across the country. That's never easy for West Coast teams. Uh, I just think the Browns uh, will come back and they will win this game outright, but I will like the Browns plus two. Next pick, I like the Cowboys minus seven against the Jets. Uh, Cowboys got smacked in the mouth last week. They need a, to bounce back. The Jets have trouble on offense. I know Sam Donald's going to be back, but um, he's going to be rusty. Uh, so I don't know if you know, he's not going to come back and light the world on fire. So I think the Cowboys defense will get after it and uh, they'll slow down the Jets offense, which isn't very good to begin with. So take the Cowboys minus seven. And the last pick, I like the Los Angeles Chargers minus seven against Pitt. Uh, the Chargers look came out, uh, played the Broncos last week and lost. Uh, it was a pretty pretty big loss for them. But um, Pittsburgh's coming in with uh, their third string quarterback Hodges. I don't know if he's going to be able to put up the points and keep up with the Chargers in this one. I think the Chargers will be able to um, control the clock. Melvin Gordon might have a big game in this one. Uh, I just don't see Pitt being able to to uh, keep up and to score any points with Hodges. So. I like the Los Angeles Chargers minus seven. So there you have it for the NFL picks. Good luck this week. Let's get some money in the accounts. Okay, and here's my let's take the man's money parlay play and the six game six point teaser play. We'll take Carolina minus two and a half, Philadelphia plus three. We'll also take under 44 in the Philly Minnesota game. We'll take Seattle minus two, San Francisco plus three. And because we're greedy, let's throw Dallas in on the money line. I think they're playing the Jets. A $25 bet will get us $873.29. And for the teaser play, we'll tease Carolina to plus three and a half, Philadelphia to plus nine. We'll tease that total in the Minnesota game to 60 and take the under. We'll tease Seattle to plus four and San Francisco to plus nine and Dallas to minus one. A $25 bet will get us $175. Good luck. And congratulations to channel XVXK underscore. Yes, you're the winner of the last week's contest. You win the Seattle Seahawks beanie. Well done. Give me your information and I'll send it to you. For this week, we're going to, um, how about we'll take, uh, we'll take these guys here, the Green Bay Packers. Anybody want to have a Green Bay Packers beanie? Get it off of my hands before I burn it. All you have to do is in the comment section below, put hashtag, let's take the man's money. Hashtag LTTMM, and you get yourself a chance to win. Good luck. So there you have it for our week six video. Uh, don't forget to leave your comment below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe. For Geo, I'm Billy B. Let's take the man's money.